Hello everybody and today is a momentous day. Momentous! Because today is the day we can finally, by the way I'm here standing between these two fields and I'm just here and these two fields are oat and barley and they're ready to harvest but today, today as I was saying is a momentous day because we have had for ages uh, an overdraft of about 500,000 it's 150,000 and today I'm going to pay it off it's gone and we still have 215,000 and that's the first time in this series ever that we've had no overdraft we're in in the black and also um we have nothing on lease. There are no leased items. We own all of this stuff here. We own it all. So I'm going to celebrate by doing two things today. First of all, I'm going to harvest... Um, let me think now. I'll harvest the barley first and I'm going to find the biggest, biggest, most huge, most ginormous um, <laughs> harvester and header I can find. This one. The John Deere HD50F. So... I'm going to bump it up as, as high as I can, 15 miles an hour, and I'm going to lease it because I can't afford to buy it. And we also need to find the corresponding harvester for it, which is this one here. So let's hire this one. And we're also going to need this. Okay, I said two things just now. The other thing I'd like to do is, if we go to our cows, um, let's just go over to the cow barn for a second. Over here. Now, if we, first of all, if we look at our, our, our productions, you can see some red dots here. Um, the red dots are, uh, go from the top. Yeah, red dots for butter, there's no milk. And also for the donuts, or is it um, the donuts? Or oh, there's no flour, so we're we're missing milk and flour. We're constantly short of milk and flour. So if I click on this, you can see we can have 240 um, cows, and we've only got a hundred. And half of those are not producing milk yet. So what I'm going to do is sell all the non-producing cows. These Holsteins, which are eight months old, there's 50 of them. And I'm not going to do it now, but later on, I'm going to buy some 12-month-old uh, Holsteins, maybe another 50 or even 100, and we also need to pro provide some hay for them. But first things first, let's get back to the shop and find this beast. So, okay, this is going to be slightly difficult because you can see they put this, head, this header trailer here, here so I can barely get to it. But anyway, I'm going to put it all together and I'll see you at the field. So I've booked my plane tickets home in nine weeks time and I'm going to miss these big American fields and roads because when I go back to England everything's going to be small again because things are small in England and big in America and I won't be able to, well, you know, take a, a, a big head like this round the small little lanes of, of uh, where, where, wherever I'm going. But anyway, let's see if I can get over to the field. We have crop destruction turned on now so I can't... I can't go over this cornfield, I have to make my way gingerly and I've been looking forward to harvesting this barley because you may remember that we had a worker put in this barley and he came across onto our grass field here. He wasn't supposed to put it in here, he was supposed to put it in. Well there's a barrier here, he shouldn't even have put it in. So let's see about turning this on unfold the thing. I always forget about that bit. Look at this beast. Wow. <laughs> Brilliant. All right, let's turn it on. And I'm very wary I have crop destruction turn on. So let's go this way. And we'll have to come back down again afterwards. Okay, just coming to the end of the line, and it's just a pleasure to be sitting inside this thing. It's just a wonderful machine. Let's have a look outside. So I've been waiting a long time to clear this um, 
this barley from our grass field. It shouldn't be here, you know. And also, I remember this time to put a straw swath down because I would like to start making TMR for the cows and we need straw for it. So uh, all these things are coming at once. New, more cows and we can probably make some TMR pretty soon when we have some hay and, and uh, silage. So, okay, I'm going get to on, get on with this and I'll see you hopefully when it's done. The field has taken longer than I thought it was going to take to, to harvest, mainly because it's a very, very healthy field now and there's a lot, a big yield to it, you know. So um, I'm going to just leave it here. And this is going to be two fill-ups of this truck. And uh, I need to go to the, the water mill to, well, we need to make some more flour, you know, so that's uh, the idea. So there's not much more to do on this field. I think we've done most of it, uh, but I just want to have a little break from it for the moment, so. That's it. Okay, let's turn everything off and get into the truck. And let's go to the water mill. I think I forgot to mention that we've bypassed June. I did this I did June off screen. I did a few things and uh sold um I think it was furniture and the the, the carton rolls and the paper rolls as well so that made quite a lot of money and that's why we have such a lot of money at the moment but uh, I just wanted to skip ahead just so we could do the harvesting because um, we've only got like eight episodes left now after today and uh, I just like to go through things a bit more quickly there's some new things coming in farming simulator um, in the year two um, season pass um, like there's some some balers and things like this so let's just go into this and make sure yeah the barley flour is turned on we've got 117,000 litres and it's distributing so this is brilliant okay so um, we'll leave this for the moment I want to get back what I want to do now actually is get some more cows but I need to do some hay before I can do that because they're running out of hay and I can't get more cows without getting doing some more hay so um, I will see you at the shop where we can pick up a, 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 a hay maker thing. It's, it's a mod, so I'll see you at the I'll see you at the shop. Okay, what I'm here for is uh, it's called an Agco Swather, and um, I'll just go into this uh, to look for Agco. Yeah, so this is the thing. This and brand let's have a nice massey fergus one i think today um all right so we will lease it and we need the header for it which is this and yeah i'll just get this and i think that's all i need so let me just get the the lorry sorted out and widen it all out a little bit and let's see if we can get this onto the lorry it's very wide actually i didn't realize it was so wide all right, I'll uh, I'll see if I can get this on the lorry. Okay, that's one way to get it on. <laughs> it was much too wide to go up these these uh, things here, so uh, I just had to use a bit of super strength. So, um, all right, let's get over to the grass field. Okay, here we are at our second farm. Well, it's more of a production area, really. We've got so much stuff here. I feel like we should have more, more kind of wood productions, because that's what this area was principally for. But anyway, let's do the hay for today. 
I'll just go through here. Look at the prefab walls we've got. Fantastic. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so let's go over here and um, see if we can get this swather off of here. So let's just uh, go a bit super strong because this is how I did it last time. Pick it up and just plonk it down here and then see if I can remember how to do it. So it's supposed to leave a swath. Um, if I put it down, I don't want this grass done. I want this grass over here done. It's supposed to leave a, a, a hay swath. So let's just see if it works first of all. Get to the edge and turn it on and hopefully it will leave a swath. Let's find out. Yeah! <laughs> that is a, a hay swath. So uh, instead of going through all the, all the different uh, processes to make hay, we just have to do it with this thing, which is fantastic. Okay, very, very healthy grass. So we should get a lot of hay out of this. Let's lift it up. And I think I put this on a bit of a fast forward. So I will see you when this is done. How many bales of hay do you think out of this field? I mean there's lots of strips, maybe it's like about 50, something like that. But anyway, we're going to need some new equipment I think because um, what do we need to do now? We need to bale this stuff up and we need to take it over to the cows. So we need a baler, I'm not even sure if we've got one. Let's just finish this off and then we can see. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if we've got a baler. Let's just have a look at our, our equipment. Um, no, no balers. So I would like to have, I think there's, um, it's called a, a, a fast baler, which we, we can do hay with, and we can do grass silage with as well, and straw as well. So I would like to buy that. We've got enough money. And by the way, um, I haven't looked at the stock index today, and I'd like to make some money before I buy anything else. So let's just have a look at that just here so I'm looking for anything that's green we've got absolutely tons of cake there but we can't sell it because it's not green so anything green that's got a big price ticket on it sort of thing tables tables and prefab walls fantastic they're both here so I can I've got the low loader here let's go and pick them up and take them look at the state of this thing <laughs> and take them to wood sell um, because that's where we'd sell them so First of all, if I can go over here to the prefab walls. Right, can I auto load them? Why not? All right, let me sort this out. Okay, well, I just about managed to get the prefab walls on. They didn't want to go on. And now we need to find, what was it, tables, I think. Yeah, tables, which is around the back of this furniture factory here. So let's go and put those on. Um, I might as well take anything I can put on here. You know, the chairs, the tables. I'm just going to auto-load a lot of it. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's it. Right, I'll get myself off to... Oh, it's not. <laughs> I nearly missed it. Right, I think that's a lot. So, let me get myself off to Woodsell. Okay, let's see how much we get for this slot then. Enough for a fast bailer? I think probably it is. Thirty-eight plus fifty-two is about ninety thousand all in for that lot. Um, now I'm going to go to the shop. Oh, why didn't that one go? That's annoying. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go to the shop and pick up the Vicon fast plate. I'll see you there. Okay, I hope they've got one in stock. I should have phoned ahead. <laughs> See if they've got one in stock. Alright, let's just stop here and uh, go in the shop. Hello, do you have a Vicon fast bailer, please? Let's have a look. Yes, this one. So we'll leave it at the same speed and we're just going to buy it as is. Okay. Where is it then? out here okay right I'm just going to do the same thing which is to use super strength to put it on the back here so just for speed that'll do all right I'll see you back at the farm okay first time using this baler the only disadvantage with this baler is we can't do grass bales um, but I'm, I'm looking to do TMR so I need silage um, I need hay and I need straw uh, bales so it could do all those three so that's absolutely fine so let's put the pickup down turn it on and let's see if we've got 50 bales here many bales to think I think probably about 50 but maybe slightly less and also I've noticed it's due to rain so um, we need to get the barley harvested before 8 o'clock because that's when it's due to rain so let's just finish things off here all done so 44 bales okay all right let's turn things off and get immediately is it off? No. And get immediately over to the other field and then I'd like to finish off the barley before the end of the episode. So that's the end of the barley for today and I think for tomorrow or the next episode we need to get a faster combine harvester because this one is very very slow and uh, I don't think I've um, put the speed up properly so um, I need to sort that out for the next episode but anyway uh, let's just see how much we get off this field okay all done so let's do that and get to our truck and go and fill it up Okay, I haven't got time now to get over to the 
the water mill but uh, thank you very much for watching this episode and i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was a good episode uh we'll be on july the second next time we've got a bit of tidying up to do after the end of the uh, after the end of the episode but um i'll do that off screen and uh thanks again and bye for now